Good morning and welcome to the Redundancy Vlog and today we've reached it, day number 100. 100 days since I was made redundant. At one point I didn't think I'd get here because of all the excitement being created uh, by the recruitment agencies after the interviews and that's probably what I'm going to start moaning on about today actually uh, and that is that I, I got used to the fact that recruitment agencies would ring you and say yeah I've got your CV and you're this fantastic fit for this job you've applied for yeah brilliant you know you, you're just what the company wants and we're going to put your CV forward you know they're going to they'll, oh yeah they want you and then never hearing another thing. And then I started getting used to the fact that they were getting in touch with me and say, um, yeah, we've got this job. You've not applied for it, but we've got this job and it's absolutely fantastic and uh, you're perfect for it and all this. Uh, huh. Sorry, I jumped up then because that was the wife driving by in the car. Uh, right, yeah, so... Um, yeah, you're perfect fit and we've found your CV online and we've got this job for you. Uh, yeah, yeah, that'd be really cool. Oh, yeah, you're perfect. And then again, never hearing anything. And I think what's bugged me most is that uh, I had the interview uh, and I did say on this, uh, on my vlog that, yeah, the guy was really good. I really, you know, really nice bloke, you know, oh yeah, fine. But he did say we've got some internal people now to, re to interview that weren't, uh, available when we advertised for the job so I thought ah well that's fair enough internal people will get it totally understand that's fine but then got an inter a call from the agency saying oh no the guy really likes you yeah yeah he's gonna he's gonna go talk to his boss you know they get you in for the second interview um, I will be ringing you to, uh, tomorrow night don't you worry to tell you this oh yeah but don't you oh uh, things are gonna happen and then you don't hear anything and that just I think that just gets me to think that hello you gets me to think that you can't actually trust uh, things that these agents tell you uh, agencies tell you and I think it's just a case of uh, you've got to uh, take everything with a huge dose of salt so that's another thing I've learned from uh, being redundant uh, that is that you just can't trust people and I suppose at the end of it these agencies they obviously get paid for putting people into jobs so they are doing everything they can to keep you interested in that job so that should by you know look that they come back and say yes we want you then you are available to uh, to go for that job and, and and it has worked in some way with me because yesterday I didn't bother looking at the jobs that had come through uh, and in fact I delete, just deleted them from the email because you can imagine I get 20-30 emails a day uh, probably even more sometimes uh, so I just deleted them thinking well there's not much point looking because this guy's going to be ringing me back definitely and and I never bothered looking so it has worked that way that it stopped me looking for somebody else. Anyway, what I'll do is uh, I'll get back to looking, that's all I can do, and just chalk that down to experience, I guess. Uh, right, updates, further updates later. Right, this is the final update for today. Um, and I haven't done any more updates since this morning. Um, I think that's just really because of the way that I feel. Now, I got one phone call just after five o'clock today um, telling me it was the whole company that I had the interview with the one now what the problem with that job was the job that, uh, that was description was for an infrastructure project manager of which I am when it came down to it and in the interview they said no we don't want an infrastructure project manager we want a SAP project manager so that confused me as to why the advertised that they had. Anyway, I went through and quite told them that I wasn't a SAP project manager, um, therefore I had no experience in it. Uh, told them I could, uh, you know, obviously get up to speed, but if they wanted somebody to hit the ground running uh, and, and, you know, with vast experience, then that wasn't me. 
Anyway, the Chancellor was very nice, the person that interviewed me. She was really nice, really um, professional. Uh, anyway, she rang me today to say thanks very much. You've got loads of experience and should we have wanted an infrastructure person then I would have been perfect. However, they want a SAP person and apparently one of the other people they interviewed said they had loads and loads of SAP experience. Whether they do or not, it doesn't matter. I wasn't going to lie. Um, I want a job that uh, I can do, that I feel I've got the right experience for, so that's fine. Um, the other job, the one in Sheffield that was supposed to uh, be in touch today, didn't. Uh, well, actually, they should have been in touch yesterday, to be fair. They said they'd be in touch yesterday. At the end, By the end of the day, they hadn't. They also didn't get in touch today. So, despite all the crap that the guy, that the agency was saying, um, pretty much it must be a no. Which, I wouldn't have minded if the guy would have just said that. But to come back with all the the stuff that he said and then oh yes definitely in touch with you by the end of the day and all this sort of stuff but I think that's worse than well it's one of the things we've always been taught not to do which is uh, you know you tell people when you're going to get back to them with something um, and then you either get back to them with something or you ring them and tell you why you haven't got what they wanted but either way you give them an update when you said you would and for them not to do that it just annoys me. It just makes me think that agencies just treat people that they're trying to get a job for like cattle. Uh, very valuable if they're the person they want, but other than that, they're just nothing. So, yeah, but as you can tell, I had my rant this morning, or in this case, about a second ago uh, when, on the vlog. Uh, but, and I don't want to go into another rant. So, a little disappointing. So, day 100 has been pretty rubbish. Uh, and it sort of knocked me off kilter a little bit for the rest of the day because I've looked through jobs but nothing's for me uh, so I'm a bit disappointed really anyway that's it for now I'm going to chill for the rest of the night and just try not to think about it and just see what tomorrow brings probably back to square one and back to searching again and uh, and lessons learned you know I've learned I've got experience now in dealing with the agencies and realised that Perhaps when they say something to you, take it with a little bit of uh, a pinch of salt or a table full of salt. Never mind. Thanks for watching and uh, check back as we enter into day 101 tomorrow and see what, uh, see what happens. But thanks for watching.